Sometimes you need to change the name of a class, module, function or signal. This operation, known as rename refactoring, requires changing both the declaration and all of the usages of the renamed element. Let's start with a function. Place the editor cursor on the function name and right-click Refactor Rename or just press the Alt-Shift-R keyboard shortcut. A dialog prompting for the new function name appears. Edit the name and press Preview to see what changes are about to be performed. A list of the files about to be changed is shown in the upper panel, while the lower panel shows a compare view per file before and after the refactoring operation. You can see that the function name will be changed in the extern function declaration, the function definition and its end tag, as well as the function usage in a different file. Now let's do the same for a virtual interface signal. Press Ctrl Shift T to bring up the quick types view and type A underscore I to open up the APB interface. Place the editor cursor on the PADDR port and press Alt Shift R, enter new name, press Preview and OK. Unlike plain text search and replace, rename refactoring is accurate. Note that the PADDR port of the APB master interface is untouched. This is because in the DVT Eclipse IDE the code is compiled, each identifier is resolved and only the relevant occurrences are updated by rename refactoring. Rename refactoring works for any identifier, for example macros, modules, parameters, classes and so on.